Hi everybody, Sonia Rollins here for the foodie segment of Back Talk. We are at Rosa Mexicana located at the Burlington Mall. They have been here since May and experiencing some great success. We're excited to go inside, talk to our executive chef, and see some great things that they have in store for us. Join us. If you'll tell us what you're making for us today. So today we're making our camarones al mojo de ajo. It is a shrimp dish that's made with a little chorizo. As well, we make a little chile guajillo done in a garlic butter sauce with fideos, which is a Spanish style pasta. All right, so we'll start by getting the pan hot. Okay. Put a little oil in that pan. So oil gets nice and hot. We're gonna go with our shrimp. We really only want to sear the shrimp on one side. You know, I think sometimes people overcook shrimp. That's exactly why. Yeah. So we'll only cook one side of it because in the end, we'll finish cooking them within the sauce. I see. We'll also go with a little bit of butter in the beginning. And then to start developing the flavors, we'll put our chorizo in. Beautiful. You see how the fat from the chorizo started to come out and give it a little bit of color? Yeah. So it gives it the color and I assume the flavor, like you right. were saying. So this is really starting the base for the sauce. All right. Now, pull this off the heat. Off comes the chorizo. Off come our shrimp, only one side. Yes, because you said it will finish cooking when the sauce Correct. goes on it. Okay, and now we'll start building our sauce. To this, we'll add some chopped garlic. This is chile guajillo, the very mild kind of raisiny flavored pepper that we that we use in Mexican cooking. It's kind of the heart of all red sauces. And this is our fideo. The fideo is a little nest pasta that uh, very similar to angel hair. So we want to brown this, this garlic a little bit to start the flavor. In goes our pasta. We'll use two nests for this. Crush them up so they cook well. Back on the fire, we'll just toast this pasta up with that garlic and those chilies. So you can smell that garlic starting to get nice and toasted. Deglaze a little white wine. That white wine will bring a little acidity to the dish. And now that that's dry, this is lobster stock. We'll put about nine ounces of lobster stock in here. And then this will start cooking the pasta. So we'll start by adding in a little butter, because after all, it is a butter sauce. And we'll add butter a couple of times throughout the cooking process. So it's interesting to see this, Chef, because people would imagine that these sauces are made in bulk, but really you're making them for the dish. Yeah, so that's a really good point. This particular sauce is made a la minute, which means we're making it right now. The reason we're doing this is because you got to cook the pasta now as well, right? So the pasta will be at the right cooking level that we want it to, but it'll also absorb all those flavors of that stock. Every, every customer gets their own pan for this dish. But if you can see, the sauce is starting to get a little bit thick, and that's through the reduction as well as the addition of the starch from the pasta. So to finish this, I'm gonna go, just give it a touch more of stock, those final couple of knobs of butter. And then to this, we'll put back our shrimp so they can finish cooking. Just the right amount. Our chorizo. Yeah, it's a one pot dish, quite simple. You see how the colors come out from the chorizo, the guajillo, and the lobster stock. Really a seafood lover's dream. Kind of a dish that I made out of memories of my childhood. Really? Fideo was always a staple. The pasta that we're, we're cooking here was always a staple in my house. I had need for a shrimp dish somehow, and I wanted to make fideo, and it just came to me how to marry the two together, and it's just really a beautiful dish that resulted from that. Yeah, that's fantastic. All right, we're good to go here. So to plate this guy, I just kind of like to pour it all right out on the plate, right to the center of the plate. And then I'll come back and arrange it nicely. We'll put the shrimp up, chorizo in between the shrimp. So to finish this, we just take a little bit of watercress that's been dressed in lime juice and a little bit of olive oil and some avocado as well. So this will give it a little bitterness to round out the sweetness from the shrimp and the lobster stock. And then we like to put some fresh diced avocado on that as well. And there you have it. It's beautiful. Camarones al mojo de ajo. Gorgeous. The Burlington Mall, the Simons property, has really evolved into an eating establishment. And each place has a unique feel to it. So talk about the unique feel that Rosa Mexicano has. Yeah, so we're really happy with the partnership that we have with Simon. This is a great property here. It's really become a culinary destination, as you know. So our brand of Mexican food, if you will, is more the way I like to coin it, is Mexican food is the way, the way it should be. Yeah. So we don't really delve Tex-Mex. We don't really delve, you know, deep, deep Mexican. We just like to serve 
the Mexican food that people want to eat in our restaurants. And we like to keep it as authentic as possible and sometimes a little whimsical as well as in this dish. The food is really, like I said, rooted in Mexican food, but really approachable from any direction. One of Josefina's signatures was the pomegranate margarita that we've been serving since 1984. So this is our frozen pomegranate margarita, an item not to miss when you do come to our restaurants. We really enjoy welcoming people into this fun, festive environment because we like to say that it's a fiesta every day at Rosa. It feels that way. Yeah, it should. <laughs> people come here for many different reasons and we're our job really is just to entertain them, feed them well, get them a nice cold coffee, cocktail, let them have the opportunity to experience the hospitality that Mexican food and Mexican restaurants in general offer. Yes. And we like to think that we're the pinnacle of that. So talk about the patio space that you have here. Great. So we have a beautiful pergola outside yeah. Burlington Mall space, which is unique. It's covered. Yes. So it's always shady, beautiful when there's a breeze out. And really what we've seen in this property when we started was that people tend to flock to the outdoors first, but it's really a nice space to come out and enjoy dine al fresco and enjoy our food and a great margarita out on a sunny day in the patio you just can't beat it you can't beat it i love that and your margarita that one's your favorite or do you specifically have this it? is one of my favorites it's always been one of my favorites for many years other than that i'm a really big mezcal guy so i would like to have a margarita made with mezcal instead of the key that's fantastic and you've been with rosa for how long i've been with rosa for a little over a year now great when i first came in i evaluated what we were doing and although rosa had a, a, a beautiful menu and, and direction we really wanted to change it up to be able to make make uh, Rosa more approachable to a wider audience mm -hmm. and a little bit future-proof. So a lot of the old dishes, the newer generations won't understand. So we kind of made it a little bit funner, made the flavors pop a little more and introduced a lot of new items to the, to, the, to the menu to really captivate different audiences in different groups. Fantastic. Okay. Rosa Mexicano, it's available at the Simons property, Burlington Mall. You have patio seating in the good weather. You have interior seating here. And then you also have a beautiful bar that I assume they can get a full menu at. Oh, absolutely. We serve the menu anywhere in the building. Fantastic, yeah. Chef. Thank you so much for having My us. My pleasure. Thank you. We saw so much here today at Rosa Mexicano. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. There are so many different things to taste here, as well as enjoy so many great drinks here at the bar. For Backtalk, I'm Sonia Rollins.